Cornelius is on my shoulder. But we got everything you can think of in this little thing. The little one always just sits right here. Some tilapia, some frozen tilapia. Oh wait, it took the whole piece. Watch out, David. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> you know what's crazy though is a minute. Sunburst body right there. You can see them all. There's nothing like these fish. We got our fish and we also got, where's the mouse? Look at all those. What is going on, fellas? Welcome back to another video. Today we are, yeah, we're gonna get fish for the 120 gallon, but of course, we always got a lot more to do than just that. Cornelius is on my shoulder. Cornelius, what are you doing there, bud? Just, just hanging out? He's one of the most chillest frogs I've ever met in my life. And if you remember, we actually got him at an Asian food market. He was gonna be on a plate, a dinner plate, frog legs, but I saved you. And now he literally lives in the fish building. Inside of this pond that we're gonna be stocking today, we have our little crate full of baby turtles. They're separated from the bigger turtles for the sole purpose of the fact that they were getting attacked. But we got everything you could think of in this little thing. We got little pink belly side necks. We got little albinos, little albino. There's another albino right here. Little yellow bellies. Oh, he likes pride between there. Couple little yellow bellies. These things always have the most energy and they also grow the right. fastest. Oh, sorry bud. Put this plant back. These little pink bellies have always been hard for me to grow, but I got a couple of them in here. A little snapping turtle down there. And then over here we have a bunch of turtles that we had bought in a while back, like this mongrel of a friggin' turtle. Big old African side neck. What else we got? Oh yeah, this thing got huge. My big map turtle. All right, buddy? He's crazy, this thing's got so much energy. These are my favorite, the Indian spotted turtles, and they just got so, so big. The spots on the face, nothing prettier than that right there. And like I said, they're getting massive. And this guy, all melanistic, and it's crazy too how big this one got. I just saw a picture on my phone the other day on how big he got. He's pretty big compared to what he was. So now that you know pretty much what's in this tub, we're gonna get some more fish for it. It needs some coloration, some spice. Before we do that, of course, though, an update on the 5,500 gallon and what's to, what's to do. Look at these fish, they're all just chilling. Oh, catfish, tucked up in a way. Beast, and the gar. Peacock bass looks so good. Oscar, hey buddy. What do you guys all want screen time right? Oh, hey, you all want screen time. <laughs> The peacocks look super cool through the window though. The little one always just sits right here. And the Oscars, right through the window. I mean, it doesn't get much cooler than having all your fish from a side angle, underwater in their natural habitat. Right, buddy? Coming at us. Oh, the Jag's coming at us now. I don't have food yet. Speaking of food, I gotta show you the fish in here are actually eating now. Some tilapia, some frozen tilapia right here. I'm gonna let it thaw out. Now I did this off camera and everything in the pond ate. So let's just hope they can do that again for me. Look at, look at Beast. Oh wait, he took the whole piece. Beast, you were, you were, okay. Beast, you were not supposed, uh, I mean, he can eat it, whatever. Anyway, I did get one chunk, he ate the rest of it. And we'll save this for the gar. Speaking of gar, we need to name this gar. I told you guys to comment in our fish transfer video and my goodness, there was 9,000 comments. I told you the top comment would be the name we pick. Let's see what the top comment is. There's two different comments naming the gar. Right here, Lars Damon comments Reaper. And then right above that, William, one of our PC members, as you can see, he has a little emblem next to his name. He named it Reaper as well. Reaper is gonna be the name. I'm sure there was a lot more comments saying Reaper as well. Shout out to all 9,000 of you for dropping names down below. What a crazy video that was getting all of these fish into the pond. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yes. See you later, Reaper. And after we name them, we feed them. I love this pond so much. And that was just a little feeding. We're gonna do a full video feeding soon. We're also gonna do a swimming with. I'm gonna get in the water with these things. That's gonna be awesome. Maybe I'll try to get our tester tilapia out of here. We still haven't got them. They're still <laughs> chilling in here with all the other fish. But after all that hard work coming up here and just admiring the amount of work that was put in from not only myself, but of course Hector, the boys, David, Chad, Daniel, everyone that helped with this project. Look at this. It's just crazy to look at. All the fish, finally, in their forever home. Enough talking, ah! Oh, that was actually a lot further than I thought. <laughs> Before we go to the fish store just yet to get our fish, of course, all the animals, look at them. They made it through the ice cold winter two, three days of Florida. We have yet to put the snapping turtle back into its uh, house out here because it's supposed to kind of get cold throughout the next couple days. Last night it was like 50 degrees. So I'm just gonna hold off and wait a little bit. But the animals, the animals are so great. We love our animals. Yay! There they go. Crazy little buggers. Actually, it's raining. 
It's it's free and raining. What the heck? Weathermen are the only people that could be wrong and not get fired. I don't know what why I just said that. It's definitely not true. They're always wrong though. <laughs> oh, look at Lady May. Lady May, you are just such a little cutie. Look at it. Boink. I'm coming to feed you, big baby girl. Come on. Look at this little freaking chicken. Watch out, David. Watch out. Here, you want some? There you go, buddy. Mango, what are you doing in there, dude? Mango. Oh, I scared him. I scared him. I'm so sorry. He's about sorry. to charge you, dude. dude. I'm so sorry, Mango. I'm so sorry. Your food's right there. I was trying to get your attention. See, a lot of the time when he's sleeping, I have to, you know, to get his attention. Yeah. But look, now he's eating, see? He just takes a little bit of... Oh! Alright, you know I'll accept that one. I'll take that. <laughs> Look at these rats. We got super bad rats here at the farm. You guys want to see a rat hunting challenge? I'll set up five different traps. Whatever one catches the most rats wins. That'd be kind of cool. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see this, something like that. No, you know what I need? I need a barn cat. We, yes. we put like a like a cat, like yes. a stray cat at the barn and we feed it. And An it outside cat. Yeah. yeah. And those rats don't come around yeah, when they're no. cats. So the weather has been very fluctuant, of course, you know. So the goats are still in here until further notice. They've got their hay, they've got shavings, they've got water, they've got food. They honestly like it in here. It's nice and covered until this crazy weather on and off, coldness, wet, dry, till that's all over. They'll be in there instead of here, but they, they'll be back in there soon, sooner than you know. All right, it's time to go to the fish store. Let's go. We must have came on the perfect day, Dave. Oh, dude. They've got... I mean, lots of fit. Well, not over here. Little, as I say, there's empty tanks. Of course, they've got their cool fish selection. Those are actually really, really beautiful cichlids right there. Wow. They've got a bunch of cichlids. Oh, some new fish. We're here today for some mollies and platies, though. They just got a bunch of fish in, so we got some selection to pick from. These are freaking sick, dude. Do you see these ones? Painted platy is what those are called. Look at them. They're actually really, really nice. I like those. There's a sunburst too. That, that was always the one I got back in the good old days. Sunburst platy right there. You can see them all. There's nothing like these fish. We have a lot of fish and for somehow and some reason I always come back to my favorite fish being a platy. Look at all the new ones. Maybe we just buy the whole bag of new ones. Is that possible? Yeah. We're, we'll, hey, hey. We should buy the bag before they even put it in the in the sure. tank. I've never done that before. That's kind of cool. We'll do the uh, 12, the dozen uh, sunbursts in the bag. And then a couple of these painted platies. Maybe like four of those. The little fancy tail guppies. Those are kind of cool too. And they breed like crazy. That's what I love about them. All these platies, guppies, that type of thing. They breed. Yeah, those orange ones. Yep. And they get the little Dalmatian right here. Those are always cool. You know what's crazy though is a minnow. Just a little minnow, two dollars and thirty cents. And it's just a minnow, you know? It's like that big. So we've got four of these paintings right here, and then right beneath them, we have this whole bag of sunbursts right there. We've got the twelve. We just transferred them into a pet smart bag. But we've got twelve of the sunburst platies. Now we're getting the paintings. That was smooth. Oh, I like that one. See a lot of dark on them. You got a down pat, huh? We got our fish, and we also got, where's the mouse? We also got some frozen mice for the, uh, for Cornelius the bullfrog. We are back at the fish building with everything we need to make it happen, baby! So little things are happening slowly but surely here at the fish building. I know you guys are very excited for the fake trees and everything going on in the Amazon corner. So much more to do over here. We're actually gonna build a pond right there as well. So there's a lot to come. Make sure you're subscribed. Notifications on so you don't miss anything to come. I'm gonna put these in for acclimating. We got our four, four painted platies, and then a dozen straight out the bag from where they come from to the pet store. Sunburst platies, my favorite. We also got two mice for, you know the frog that was on my shoulder in the beginning? That's uh, yeah, that's him. Look at him, he's absolute stud. Alpha energy right there. Such a beast. So we got those for him. We'll let one thaw out. It's kind of crazy how, uh, how much this building has come along in just a short amount of time. You almost ready to go back outside, buddy? He's like, yeah, get me the heck out of this tub. Scary, bro. Oh. Scary big. Are you good? I'm good. Life flashed before my eyes right there for a second. <laughs> my goodness. He'll probably eat a mouse too. That thing is freaking crazy. These are little mouse. That's what he does with his back. Oh! Got it. 
That's gone. There it is. Cornelius eats again. <laughs> Cornelius is the best. Check out this guy. He wants a mouse too. He'll literally eat a frozen mouse. That's our common snapping turtle. Same as this one, but this one's just a lot bigger. That's raptor. We don't have a name for that one. All right, it's time to put our fish into the 120 gallon turtle pond. I'm very, very excited for this. I don't know about you, Dave. I'm excited. Oh yeah. The net right there. We'll start off with these. Here we are. Look at those little things. They're so tiny. Very beautiful though. Very, very beautiful. Later, buds. Go breed and make a bunch of babies in there for me. And I actually have platies in here from last time we stocked this. We just put a couple. They must be pregnant. Next is all of our 12 sunburst platies. I'm very excited for this. Ready, Dave? Whoop. Right out of the bag. Easiest way to not get the aquarium water from the store into your tank. Look at all those. Beautiful colored minnows. Wow, they look good with that orange bottom too. They look so good in there. Look at them all over here, look. I just love plastic. Back in the day, I started this entire channel, this journey right here that you've been watching. If you've been watching for a while, you've been watching for years. This entire journey started with mollies and platies. Literally, they were the species I started making videos with and actually gaining traction on YouTube with. I think that's why they have such a sentimental value to me. They're not even so much of the species and how cool and colorful and exotic they are. It's the fact that literally everything I have and created here obviously is from y'all watching, but that was the species that made it happen. That's why I love mollies and platies so much, especially platies. I definitely want to show you guys a couple of the ponds and aquariums that I did with these platies, so I'm overlaying some here. Back in the day, my parents' backyard, these were some of the coolest projects. Very simple, but very, very cool. And um, we bred a lot of those things. We had a lot of platies at one point, like the mini pond especially that we did. Babies everywhere. Every day I wake up to more babies. Thank you all so much for watching another video. We just stocked up the 120 gallon turtle pond. I'm standing over the 5,500 gallon thinking we need new fish. What? Stay tuned. Peace. see more exclusive content, kind of just like this video, but more raw footage, check out the link down below and become a PC member. You get badges, you get live streams that are members only, you get videos that members only could see, and so much more. Click the link.